Hair. Everyone has it. Oh, apologies, Brian. Hair. Everyone has it. Hello, ladies. It's me. I'll, st I'll start again. <clears throat> Hair. Most people have it, and in all manner of places. Here, here, and uh, some folk have a lovely assortment of fibres here. Where are you going with this? I hear you all cry. Well, I'm sure it hasn't escaped your attention that our beloved Reading Football Club seems a bit, uh, well, technically challenged by the old footballs at the moment. But has it also occurred to you that this current squad of players seems a little follically challenged in the beard department too. Today in this video I'd like to propose that these two things are strongly correlated and interlinked. After all, left to flounder without our team's beardy inspiration of yesteryear, is it any wonder that we're now finding ourselves in such dire straits? Every great team needs a great beard, and I don't mean one of those wispy, pubic fuzz monstrosities. When I say beard, I mean a powerful, majestic, barbarian beard. With that said, I've bashed together a list of five former Reading FC Bristle collections, or rather the players who curated those Bristle collections, all of which I feel would inject a smattering of much needed facial hair vavavoom into this ragtag band of royals. So without any further flim flam, here are my top five Reading FC beards with some honourable mentions for uh, Reading FC moustaches. Starting off at number five, we have Ryan Edwards, a lesser known face amongst the Berkshire faithful. An Aussie international born in Singapore, perhaps the highlight of Edwards' four year stint in sunny Berkshire came under Nigel Adkins in 2014 featuring in a much depleted and young Reading side as they triumphed 1-0 away to Middlesbrough at the Riverside. Right, that's the boring stuff out of the way, let's take a peek at that beard. And what a beard. I mean, I feel significantly more holy already just from looking at it. Now applying his footballing trade up in Scotland at Partick Thistle, after Ryan retires from the sport, a sparkling career as an extra in the next Pirates of the Caribbean film surely beckons for him. Coming in at fourth spot on this list, a man that requires little introduction, Marcus Hanneman. On the whole, Reading fans have been spoilt with goalkeepers over the years. Steve Death, Shaka Hislop, and then we have our Marcus, an all-American heavy metal aficionado with a soul patch to match. And uh, he, he keeps hens too. But back to that beard, or whatever that is, it's pretty special indeed. Rumour has it that Hanneman previously auditioned for the role of Cypher in The Matrix, though I could just be making that up. I'm definitely making that up. Ah, the Danes. Denmark has gifted several wonderful things into the world. Carlsberg, Lego, Mads Mikkelsen, and of course, Mikkel Andersen's beard. Just gaze upon its wondrous beauty. The good Danish beard jeans possessed by Reading's longtime substitute goalkeeper are enough to secure him a top three spot on this list. Seriously, what can be said about Berkshire's Baltic Brazy that hasn't been said before? Nothing, that's what. Casper's gawks and his facial hair are beyond mortal description and ascend words themselves. So, when words are not enough, the next logical step is to whack together a photo montage. Let's go.
And finally, at number one, we have Bill Oddy. Bill Oddy, rub your beard all over my body. Hey, uh, I'm on a hill. Uh, I just wanted to say thank you for watching this video. If you thought this video was okay, uh, acceptable, or even borderline entertaining, uh, please consider subscribing for more content like this uh, on the regular. Uh, drop me a like, and uh, I will see you in the next video. Uh, thank you for watching.